Hey guys, Drew here from Guitar Brothers Company, and today I'm here to teach you Take My Fire by Switchfoot. For this song, I'm running from the bridge humbucker pickup in the Squire Strat through this uh, really cool overdrive pedal I have called the Crazy Cactus by Kayleen. It has three different types of drive. One is uh, vintage, it's more midsy. Um, one has, it's, it's like a full tone type drive, and the third setting is a clean boost. But the pedal also has a built-in boost, and when you kick that on with a clean boost, you get this really heavy distortion sound I like for songs like this. Um, so when you hear that, pretty much all the gain is coming from the pedal, not from the amp. Um, I have a little bit of reverb on, and then I run into my Fender Champion 40, which is currently set on British, which I believe models a Vox type amp. So that's the sound we're getting. Um, in this song, oh actually, if you want me to talk about this pedal more, I know there's not a lot of demos on, out there, so just let me know in the comments down below. Um, in this song, we have one main riff that we're going to play over and over again, and it goes like this. Alright, and what that is, is we're going to play, uh, we're going to start here on the ninth fret of our D string, then we're going to come down to the seventh fret, we're going to pick every note, and then we're going to play so we go like this, from the 9, 7, 9. Then we're going to go from the 7th fret of our D string down to the 9th fret of our A string. All right. Then we're going to walk down on our A string from the 9th to the 7th to the 5th. And on the 5th fret we're going to bend a bit, okay? Then we're going to come down to the 7th fret of our low E string. So if you didn't get that, uh, slowly it's going to go like this. obvious with my fingers because I know it's a little hard to see sometimes. Then we're going to walk back up on our A string from the 5th to the 7th to the 9th, then to the 7th fret of our D string. So all together. the verse 
verse of the song. And then you're going to hear. And what that is, is we're going to play a power chord here on the fifth fret of our low E string, which is an A power chord. We're just going to hit all the strings muted, then play the chord, and slide up two frets to play a, what's actually a B power chord here. So we're going to slide out of it like that. Then we're going to wait, and it's going to come again. But this time we're going to slide. So. Sometimes I wish I didn't feel that much. And what we're going to do there is we're going to hit uh, on the fifth fret of our A string, which is a D power chord. slide on the E string again, all right? So all together in the verse, you're going to play uh, from the 5th fret of your E string to the 7th. So from an A to a B. Then we're going to um, play from A down to a G on the 3rd fret. Then we're going to come up and hit our D power chord. And slide from our uh, A to our B again. And that's the whole verse, all right? You wait for the chorus to come in, and then we play our riff again. But that's all we get to play of it. We play the uh, the ninth fret to the seventh fret, and the seventh fret from to the ninth fret of our seventh fret of our D string to the ninth fret of our A string. Then we're gonna come and play a big power chord here on the fifth fret of our low E string. And what a big power chord is is it's just like a regular power chord. But we're gonna add our middle finger on the string below your pinky, which in this case is a, it's a, our G string. All right, you hear that? It makes a bigger sound. And uh, so we're gonna play our, our riff. Then we're gonna slide down two frets, still play a big power chord on our G. So our riff. A power chord, A big power chord, G big power chord, slide up to the 12th fret, all the way to the 12th fret of our low E string for an E power chord. So all together the first little bit of our chorus is... We're going to repeat that, we're going to repeat that once. power chord here on the seventh fret of our uh, low E string, which is a big B power chord, just like that. Then we're going to slide up three frets to have our first finger on the uh, tenth fret of our low E string. Then we're going to slide up two frets to be back on the twelfth. So. G. And we're only, only going to do that once because after that G, we're going to come back to our riff. Then we're going to come to our big A power chord. Just hit it three times. Then we're going to do a little outro riff that'll take us out of the chorus every time. And what we're going to do there is we're going to hammer on from the 7th to the ninth fret on our D string. Then we're going to bend on the 7th fret of our G string. Just a, you know, blues little half bend. Come back to the ninth fret on our D string. Play the 7th fret on our A string. Bend a little bit. Then play the uh, 7th fret on our low E string. So slowly. going to take us, or that lick, it's going to take us out of the chorus every time, all right? Then, on the first chorus, we hear do 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 Let me burn now, all 
All right, and then we come into the guitar solo, which is the fun part. We're going to start off with this big unity bend, which is, if you don't know what a unity bend is, it's where you put your first finger on the B string and your second finger on the G string. In this case, your first finger is going to be on the seventh fret of the B string, and your second finger is going to be on the ninth fret of the G string. And if you play those two together, you can hear how it just kind of sounds real nasty. They don't, the two notes don't get along very well. But we're going to bend the note on the, uh, the G string up to meet the pitch of the note on the B string. Do that. Alright, so we're going to start the solo off with this unity bend. Then we're going to hit the G string while it's bent. Unbend it. And then come back to the 7th fret of our G string. So, uh, we bend, we play the, this note where it's the 7th on seventh fret on the B string, and while we do that, we bend the G string up a whole step. Hit it a bunch of times while it's bent. So, and unbend it while it's still ringing. And then we come down and hit the seventh fret on the G string, all right? Then we're gonna come up to the eleventh fret of our, uh, of our G string. We're gonna bend it again. A whole step, then play the 12th fret on our B string while it's bent, then play it again to unbend, and then down to the 9th fret of the D string. So slowly that's going to be, alright, then we're going to do this quick little run here on our, it's going to start on our B string where we're going to hammer on from the 10th fret to the 12th, then we're going to play the 10th fret of our high E string then bend the 12th fret of our high E string up a whole step. So, and come down. After, after the bend, we're going to land on the 12th fret of our, um, of our B string, but you're going to want to have it on your, on your ring. I use my middle finger for this, because you come down off your ring finger on the bend, and then you step up with your middle finger, because we have to reach the 14th fret of our uh, B string for this little half bend. Alright, you're going to bend it up a half step and back down. And then you're going to come to the G string again on the 11th fret and you're going to pull off to the 10th, or to the 9th fret. Then you're going to pick on the 7th fret of the G string. So, right after that bend. Just like that. Then we're going to play this little uh, lick to take us out of the guitar solo, which goes like this. And so what that is, is we're going to start on the 7th fret of our D string, hammer on to the 9th, then play the 7th fret of the uh, G string here, play the 7th fret of the D string again. We're going to bend the 9th fret of the G string up, just real quick. Almost doesn't have a pitch even because it's so quick. Then play the 7th and hammer on to the 9th of the uh, D string. So all together. Alright, that's going to take us out of the guitar solo back into the verse. And you know the verse. Uh, and you know the next chorus, all right? So after the next chorus, when you uh, you finish up, you know. The riff. Then you're going to kick off your, uh, your heavy overdrive, because you're going to want a nice clean tone for this little bridge section. If you're hearing the bridge section, the guitar, it's doing this, this uh, arpeggio. And it's what's called a line cliché. Now, a line cliché is where we're going to keep playing these two notes, but the root note uh, beneath them, it's going to go down by half a step each time. So, like that, like that, and here it just walks down. Right? Is, is that little that little jazzy sounding thing that uh, 
Led Zeppelin, actually Led Zeppelin, uh, Jimmy Page specifically, he was fond of the line cliche. He used it in Stairway to Heaven, which is also a song in which he used the unity band. So you can see some of Drew Shirley's influences there. But uh, in this bridge, sec bridge section, the arpeggio is going to do this little line cliche. Uh, sorry. You're going to put your first two fingers on the seventh fret of your G and B strings. So you're gonna, and then you're going to put your pinky on the ninth fret of your D string. So. Then you're going to move down to your ring finger on the uh, eighth fret of your D string. And these first two fingers are staying the same. Then you're going to take your first finger and bar the D, G, and B strings on the seventh fret. Then we're going to put our last two fingers where our first two fingers used to be on the seventh fret of the G and B strings, and put our ring finger, our middle finger, sorry, um, on the eighth fret, on the sixth fret, sorry, of our uh, of our D string. So so it's just walking down, you know. first finger on the fifth fret of our D string with our last with our last two fingers still up here on these strings. Then we're gonna come back up to our middle finger on the sixth fret. And then it starts over. And that just keeps looping around and around and around and around again. Through the whole, uh, the whole bridge, until we get back to the. There's kind of a. I, I want to say a pre-chorus, but it only happens once. It kicks from the bridge back into the chorus, which normally you just call it build up, but, but it's on guitar, so. I don't know. <laughs> um, and that's after you, you you play that arpeggio and you just end here on the. Uh, Kick your drive back on. Slide up to the 12th fret on your B string. Play the 15th fret. Then the 12th again. So. Bend to the 12th fret up a whole step. And then you're going to play your G string from the 11th fret to the 9th fret. And then the 12th fret of your D string. So 12, 15, 12, bend. Uh, 11, 9 on your G string, and 12 on your D, and you're going to slide up to the 14th, so up two frets, come down to the 9th, so all together, alright, then you're going to come into your last chorus, but your last chorus is going to be a little different, it's more intense, more chords um, and less riff, because there's actually no riff in the last chorus. You're going to start off here. Um, you're going to start off here on your seventh fret, low E string, your big power chord, your big B power chord. And then you're going to come up to a regular power chord here on your uh, your fifth fret of your A string. So that's your D power chord. So you're going to hit the hit the B, D, then. Just hit that three times, then slide down. Two times. All right, then you're going to come up two frets. Do the same thing again. So. Sorry. That part's uh, a little tricky. <laughs> Back to your uh, your B power chord, your big B here on your low E string, seventh fret. And you're gonna come up two frets to your D, your big D. So. Then down to your big G. Then up to your big E on the twelfth fret. All right. So all together, your second chord so far is. Play that 
that little uh, the little walk up from the first course. It's going to be the same this time. So. Down to G. Then instead of the uh, last riff in the chorus, you're going to just play your big B twice. Your uh, big A the three times. And you're going to play your little outro lick again. Then you're going to come back to your riff, finally. Then you remember the little power chord slide from the beginning, from your 7th uh, fret to your 5th fret? So. And your big A, or your, your big B, sorry, and you're going to slide down. And that's the end of your song. So. Altogether, uh, after after your little build up, your second chorus is going to go. video is probably like 20 minutes long. Um, I've had to shoot it like six times because of random crap going on, but um, if you liked that video, give it a like. Um, if you want to see more Switchfoot and other guitar content, subscribe and um, leave us a comment as to what you want to see. Also, if I missed anything, then feel free to let me know because I, you know, I missed it. I want to know too. All right, so see you guys later. Bye.